every single day, multiple times a day, sometimes multiple times within the hour, someone says to you, you can't do this. You're going to fail. You're not going to make it. You're not good enough. Welcome to Leading Leaders Podcast, five minute videos, five days a week. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. Unfortunately, that someone is often you. I know, because I lived a large majority of my life that way, looking in the mirror, saying to myself, you're not worth it. You're not worth investing the time in. You're not worth spending the money on. You're not worth a college degree. You're not worth the big paycheck. If you think words tumbling around in your head have an impact on your life, you're absolutely right. They do. And sometimes you let those words tumbling around in your head dictate what you do with every minute of your day, what you do with your relationships, what you do with your dreams. And it's real easy to to get on a course where you feel like there's no reason for me to be here. See, today's core value is self-worth. And I'm not talking about an overinflated expectation of self. I'm talking about simply realizing who you are and what you're capable of and stretching your own internal dialogue to match the potential you were created with. Let me say that again. I want to challenge you to stretch your own internal dialogue until it matches the potential you were created with. See, I I grew up without my dad around. My stepdad was not much of a positive influence in my life, and so a lot of the influence in my life came from everything that I could pull from around me, and not all of that was good. But there were a few people in my life that were friends, that were acquaintances, that were just in my circle of environment because of school or neighborhoods. And some of those people I've watched throughout the course of my life go on to accomplish incredible things. Some I've watched stare down the barrel of the greatest fears in their life and plow forward anyway. Some I've watched live through incredible tragedy, facing death in the family, the loss of a spouse, the cancers, the lifelong diagnoses of battle, and charge on and live a life of happiness and contentment. And others I've seen enjoy a little bit of success and then go off the deep end into a lifestyle that literally utterly destroys them. And the one common thing among all of them is they talk to themselves. And sometimes what they say destroys them. Sometimes what they say builds them up. And if the core value of self-worth is not at the anchor of who you are, then every passing, fleeting moment, every disruptive, destructive, disabling social media post will drag you down, will cause you to question yourself, will cause you to question your value. So I just wanna share uh, some questions with you. I I want you to write these down if, if you have a chance. In fact, just save this date somewhere in your stuff so you can go back to this particular podcast to this particular video, write down these particular questions and ask them again and again and again and again until you're solid with the answers. Here's question number one. Listening to the voice of others will have a huge impact on your life. So who do you allow to speak into your life? When you speak to yourself, this is question number two, what words do you choose? Number three, how do you decide which word is relevant? Number four, how do you decide which people are relevant? Number five, I want you to take a moment. I want you to write some positive and affirming things about yourself. I'm a great singer. I'm a great performer. I'm a great carpenter. I'm a great cake maker. Yes, I put all of those together because in one sentence I've described one of the people that I've actually tagged in the social media aspect of this podcast, a guy by the name of Ron Akins. 
Uh, Ronnie and I grew up together since early high school, late middle school. We played football together. We sang in the choir together. Ronnie went on to, to build his own modeling and redesign company. But he also makes wedding cakes. Yeah, figure that out. A modeling and redesign company, but he also makes wedding cakes. He's also a father and a grandfather. He's also uh, one of those who has performed on uh, Rising Star, I believe was the particular one that he challenged. He moved to Tennessee so that he could compete as a vocalist to try to get his break in life. He's recorded dozens of songs, written and recorded dozens of songs. I had the same dream and ambition, but I didn't have the courage to pursue the singing life, if you will. The closest I ever got is building a DJ company, and so we do karaoke on a regular basis. That's as close as I ever got. Never even tried to get on the stage other than competing in Spring Ho when I was in high school. See, how many dreams have you let completely go because the words that you spoke into your own life allowed you to take a deep dive off the end? Because you didn't hold on to the dreams that you had, you let them go. I love watching the inspiration of the America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent or American Idol. And you hear these people talk about the tragedy of their stories. And they're 22 and 23 and 25 years old and, and they're, they're looking for a second chance. But then from time to time, you see someone like a Susan Bowles. Someone who comes out of nowhere at almost 60 years old. And a large portion of her life is already passed in front of her. And now she's saying, I'm starting over. I, I want another chance. I believe I can still do this. And her talent was off the charts. How many years could her talent have invested in other people? But her fear didn't let it. See, number five here is I want you to take a moment and write out some positive affirming words that remind you about the truth of yourself. If you don't have a core value of self-worth, then everybody else who speaks into your life has a chance to derail you. And if you don't have a positive value for yourself of your own self-worth, no one can talk you into your success. Did you hear that? If you don't have the core value of self-worth being a positive thing in your own life, no one can talk you into success. Your dreams will evaporate. Your goals and your ambitions, your talents, your abilities, they will go to waste. You will be one of those in the richest place on earth, buried in the, in the cemetery, taking all your dreams with you. If you don't have the core value of self-worth, if you don't believe in you, no one else's belief is going to be enough. Now, partnered together, they can be tremendous. So I want you to try this quote. You ready? I want you to memorize this. When I do this seminar for the Live a More Excellent Life, this is all straight out of my book. When you do this, when we do this seminar, I make everybody in the room stand up and, and quote this with me. So if you're brave enough, stand up where you are, or at least repeat it. If you have to hit pause and back it up and, and do it again. But I want you to say these words at least three to five times out loud to yourself. And I don't care who's listening. I am the best me ever made. There's not another one. No one can be a better me. No one can love like me smile like me, laugh like me, or live like me. Today, I will be happy to be me, and I will be proud of me. Maybe you've reached a place in your life where you're wondering, have I wasted my life? Have I given up on my dreams? Has 2020 completely derailed everything I thought I was going to accomplish in my life? Well, the reality is, Right now is a great time to start over. Right now is a great time to believe in yourself. Right now is a great time to look in the mirror and go, you know what, there is no better me. Nobody in the world can do what I can do. Nobody in the world can perform like I can perform, achieve what I can achieve, think like I can think, love like I can love, smile like I can smile. Nobody, nobody, because you're one of a kind. And the sooner you realize that, the more you'll live into everything you were created to be. I don't care what level leader you are. If you're influencing people around you, kids, grandkids, neighbors, the kids down the street, being the best you is the best hope they will ever have. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Subscribe now 
for our extensive video library of leadership lessons promoting faith, family, and freedom.